I just finished maxing out Krichevskoy. It's time to melt those raid bosses and... It's time to get a legendary weapon for my main DPS. <sighs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. JC here with another Disgaea RPG video. Today we'll talk about the equipment that you want to start preparing for upcoming meta-defining units. With Edna Summer Resort event active, some of you might be thinking about investing on your equipment, if you're already done with your innocence. Which is why I have 4 item recommendations to prepare for future units. First of all, let's start with Fist. Set is one of the strongest characters in the game. With his unique abilities which provide a huge boost to attack, and skills which further buff his attack, he's going to melt whatever gets in front of him. Which is why you want to prepare a Fist, as one of his abilities require him to wield it. For him, you want to put damage increase for star element in slots 3 and 4 of the alchemy effects. As all of his skills are star element, this will give a higher boost than skill damage up. As a fist unit, set excels on content where you want to be fast, so preparing boots or speed belts is a good idea. Part of Zeta's strength comes from his N7, which is tied to Kilia's training, so remember to invest resources on that too. Believe it or don't, my next recommendation is to build an axe. You may think that there aren't any notable Axe Forte units in the game, and I can argue against that, but what if I told you the best Axe wielder isn't an Axe Forte unit? In fact, this character could wield any physical weapon you want to give them. I'm talking about Future Warrior Planner. She is unlike any other unit in the game, as none of her abilities are tied to the weapon she has equipped. She is a Sword Forte unit, but she doesn't get any real benefit from using a sword. You can equip whatever item you want to give her, as long as it increases her attack. Another important aspect of her kit is that she has the ability to increase her critical rate and critical damage on her own, so she has a higher than normal chance to get a critical hit. Future Warriors Planner's Axe should have a star damage up alchemy effect. Only her S rank skill is a star element, but that's the main reason why you're equipping an axe on her, because you want to deal the most amount of damage, so giving an alchemy effect which benefits this skill is the best option. Additionally, you want to prepare as many belts filled with attack innocence as you can, Speed isn't supposed to be a priority when you're using an axe. Next, let's talk about Love X. I know magical monster teams are not as popular because we haven't received many good magical monster DPS units, but that will change with the arrival of Love X. She has the highest critical damage boost in the game, which is why you may want to start preparing a weapon for her. None of her abilities or skills limit her to monster teams, so if you have invested into humanoid in teams, those units may also work with her. Once again, you want to increase the star damage with alchemy effects, as all of her skills are a star element. And of course, if you want to push your damage as high as you can, consider equipping glasses with Int Innocence to nuke everything with Love X. The last items you want to prefer for your team are Gun and Fist, but unlike previous suggestions, these items aren't meant to be used as a way to increase damage, but rather to increase your speed. For most situations, supporters want to be faster than your main DPS, that's why you want to equip them with either Gun or Fist, especially if none of their abilities are tied to their weapons. A good example of this is Archangel Flown. Her abilities doesn't require that she has a bow equipped, so instead use a weapon which increases her speed. For Innocence, it's just natural to go only with Speed Innocence on this weapon. The first alchemy effect is more important in this case, you want to make sure it's maxed out. For slots 3 and 4, the best option is action gauge increase by 80% at the start of battle. Depending on who you're using, you may want to change that for an SPGen effect. The last viable option would be to put the action gauge reduction on normal attacks effect, but I don't consider it as good as the other two. And with that we're done. It takes a ton of resources and time to max out equipment, that's why I'm telling you to prepare on advance. If you like the video, share, like, subscribe. See you next time, bye!